In a future where Australia has become radioactive wasteland, the green place of many mothers stands as one of the last bastions of freshwater and agriculture. This oasis is a hidden treasure, coveted by many. One fateful day, two children, Furiosa and Valkyrie, are picking peaches when their peaceful routine is shattered by the arrival of raiders. Furiosa, quick to act, attempts to sabotage the raiders' motorcycles, but her efforts are in vain. The raiders capture her as a prize for the ruthless leader, Dementist of the Biker Horde. Furiosa's mother, Mary, embarks on a daring mission to save her daughter. With fierce determination, she tracks the raiders to their camp and eliminates all but one. The remaining raider delivers Furiosa to Dementis, but not before Furiosa mortally wounds him to prevent him from revealing the location of the green place. Mary, undeterred, sneaks into the camp and successfully rescues her daughter. However, their escape is short-lived as Dementis tracks them down. In a heart-wrenching moment, Mary urges Furiosa to flee and gives her a peach pit as a memento. But Furiosa, filled with love and desperation, refuses to abandon her mother. In a cruel twist of fate, Dementis forces Furiosa to witness her mother's crucifixion. Haunted by the loss of his own family, Dementis adopts the unwilling Furiosa as his daughter, hoping she will eventually lead him to the green place. Time passes, and Dementis sets his sights on the citadel, a fortified settlement with abundant fresh water and agriculture. Despite the fierce siege, the citadel's defenders, the war boys, repel the horde's attack. Refusing to give up, Dementis employs a cunning Trojan horse strategy to capture Gas Town, an oil refinery crucial to the citadel's gasoline supply. During peace negotiations, Morton Joe, the warlord of the Citadel, acknowledges Dementis' control over Gas Town. In exchange for increased supplies of food and water, Dementis offers the services of his horde's physician and hands over Furiosa, who has tattooed a star chart on her left arm, showing the way back to the Green Place. Joe imprisons Furiosa with his harem of wives inside the heavily guarded vault. As time passes, Joe's son, Rictus, becomes infatuated with Furiosa. Recognizing an opportunity, Furiosa devises a daring plan to escape. One night, Rictus breaks into the vault with the intent to assault her. However, Furiosa, using a wig made from her own hair, slips from his grasp and vanishes into the night, leaving behind the nightmare of her captivity and setting her sights on freedom and vengeance. Disguised as a mute teenage boy, Furiosa infiltrates the ranks of Joe's men, gradually working her way up over more than a decade. During this time, she contributed to the construction of the War Ring, a heavily armed supply tanker designed to withstand raider attacks in the dangerous wasteland. Furiosa plans to escape by stowing away on the rig when Joe assigns his top driver, Praetorian Jack, to lead the supply run. Meanwhile, the Octoboss, a lieutenant disillusioned by Dementis' cruelty, turns rogue and launches an aerial assault on the rig. His mortar flyers slaughter the rig's crew and destroy Furiosa's hidden motorcycle. But Furiosa and Jack join forces to defeat the attackers. Furiosa attempts to hijack the rig to drive home, but Jack easily stops her. Recognizing her potential, he offers to train her to escape if she helps him rebuild his crew. Furiosa agrees, becoming Jack's second in command and earning the title of Praetorian. She and Jack form a close bond and resolve to escape together. They find their chance when Joe plans an attack on Gas Town, which Dementis has nearly ruined through mismanagement. Joe orders Furiosa and Jack to collect weapons and ammunition from the Bullet Farm, an allied mining facility. However, Dementis ambushes them upon their arrival. Furiosa and Jack narrowly escape, but Furiosa injures her left arm in the process. Dementis catches up to them and tortures Jack to death. Furiosa, desperate and determined, escapes her chains by severing her injured arm, sacrificing her star map in the process. As she struggles back to the Citadel, a lone man observes from a distance. Upon returning, Furiosa collaborates with Joe's aide, the people leader. To devise a strategy, they lure Dementis into a trap, and the war boys eliminate the horde in a 40-day war. Having lost her path home, Furiosa shaves her head once again, replaces her arm with a mechanical prosthetic, and sets off in pursuit of the fleeing Dementis. Following a lengthy pursuit, Furiosa captures Dementis in the desert. She brings him back to the citadel, where she imprisons him and uses his body as fertilizer to grow a peach tree from the seed her mother gave her. In recognition of her achievements, Joe promotes Furiosa to the rank of Imperator and assigns her to command a new war ring. During her time at the Citadel, she meets Joe's five reader wives in the vault where she was once held captive. The night before the next supply run, the five wives take refuge in Furiosa's ring. Furiosa distinguishes itself by focusing entirely on its central character and her vendettas rather than sharing screen time with Max. Instead of Charlize Theron, young Furiosa is portrayed with intense passion by Alila Brown who is abducted from the green place by the nearly unrecognizable Chris Hemsworth as Warlord Dementis. Anya Taylor-Joy, who plays the adult Furiosa, only appears halfway through the film. Both portrayals stay true to the essence of the character from Fury Road. The film's unique narrative and Miller's detailed visual storytelling 
provide a rewarding experience for those familiar with the Mad Max universe, although fans may need additional resources to fully understand the plot. Furiosa succeeds in carving out its own identity within the Mad Max world, even though it remains tied to the franchise's lore. The film introduces the new villain, Warrior Demented, portrayed by Hemsworth with a mix of menace and humor, adding depth and charm to the story. Taylor Joy's fierce performance complements Hemsworth's portrayal, creating a compelling dynamic. Overall, Furiosa offers a visually stunning and engaging narrative that both stands out on its own and satisfies fans of the series. Thank you very much for watching the whole video. And if you have a movie or TV show that you want us to cover, just comment it down below. We'll make a video of it in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our playlist for more recaps.